Good morning, everybody. Orin J here with another War of the Visions video, and it's that time of the week, Future Friday, where we take a little sneak peek into JP, see what's coming down the pipe, if it's something you might want to save for, and Lightning Players and Alaya Enjoyers, let me just tell you, you've got something you might want to save for. There is a really strong looking waifu Alaya unit, and I don't mean waifu in terms of like, not wearing many clothes summer waifu, I mean waifu as in terms of like, Husbando Jaden Mary's waifu Alaya. She's coming and she's looking really good. So let's take a peek at what she looks like right here. She's a hundred cost unit, pure white bride, new job, gunner spy. So right off the bat, striking missile slash access to three different damage types. That's really good. And before we talk about anything else, I want to give you an example of how she compares to a unit like flag bear glassy. That's a big time physical carry in this game. Um, especially I want to talk about this agility stat 72 agility without any support skills set up flag bear glass he's a fast unit who comes in at only 68 before you start you know equipping abilities and espers and gear so ally is going to be really really fast she's got a good amount of hp a good amount of attack she's going to be a big time physical carry in this game for us let's take a peek at her kit and we're going to start with her trust master so it's a bouquet and it's a bouquet with ap auto restore on it now it's not bell's level ap auto restore it's a small one it's only that five percent but for many units especially units with ap cost reduction that can be enough to get them through a fight or for like harder pve content like the new um legendary reliquaries an uh tmr like this is very useful it also gives 25 strike attack for three turns it's a self buff two uses so it's a good tmr it's something you're going to want if you can get your hands on it her master ability has the group buff she gets defense penetration 20 and acquired ap up 30 her dream enhancement gives her accuracy 20 and aoe resist 10 while upgrading one of her moves and her kit is really interesting to look at so we'll start with her support moves she has an attack defense pin uh support ability so that's really good it's on her main job you're going to run that most of the time then she gets interesting like do you want to go long range gunner she does have a range option you're probably not going to want to do that you're probably going to use the accuracy reaction block rate version that seems really strong so in a lot of cases i think you're going to probably run both of her new support abilities she also has move plus one which can be very very useful that comes with diagro she has a missile attack and an evasion rate acquired ap up for her counter moves she is bringing a new counter move to the table with um a it's a slight Slash magic only counter, but a 70% proc rate that is a nice long ranged punch. So, super speed combo or super speed counter. If she gets hit by a slash or magic move, there's a very, very good chance that one, you hear a ball bouncing around upstairs. That's my son bouncing a hard ball on wood floors, and that she's going to punch him back for 121% damage. She scales purely off of attack. So, that's pretty cool looking at the rest of her main job a little bit and again this is not a like full kit breakdown how she's going to be in the meta i'm just kind of introducing a unit that you might seem as you might think is cool she has a cheap move lightning strike damage that gives her strike attack up when she does it so that's pretty nice then this move right here determination to be a princess the upgrades into petal blessing the upgrades into flower dance blessing this does i'm sorry Determination to be a princess. Those are not the same move. Starting over. Determination to be a princess is a self buff that upgrades her basic attack and paralyze strike. It gives her protect for three turns and shell for three turns. So it is a very, very powerful um, self buff. And if we look at her basic attack, the upgraded version just receives a lot more damage. So that's pretty cool. Other than the paralyze strike upgrade um, adds the 20% more chance to paralyze and 35% more damage to the modifier. So that's one of her core uh, damaging moves. It's an AOE move. This buff is going to be very important for her to cast, both for the protect and shell, but also for the basic attack and especially the paralyzed strike upgrade. So that's a really strong move. Now, Petal Blessing that gets upgraded to Flower Dance Blessing. This one's kind of crazy. And sometimes Wode of Calc is not the best tool for looking at these very complicated moves. And we'll know a lot more about it when it comes to global. But here's the gist of it. She's going to be giving her allies 30 AoE resist, 20 slash resist, and dispel re-raise. 
if they have Ignore Fatal, and I believe she will also be giving them Ignore Fatal, or they might need to bring that themselves, because the way this reads here is that she gives herself Ignore Fatal, herself 200, uh, or a 20% physical damage increase while she has Ignore Fatal on, and then when conditions are met, autocast hate down when HP is 20% or less, if the target has one or more of the following effects, ignore fatal. So a lot going on right there around courage. We will just have to wait and see exactly how this buff works out. But if it's a thing where your units need to bring themselves courage, this is a very, very good buff. 30 AOE resist for your allies. What the heck with slash resist and re-raise remove? Really OP TP buff right here. Even if your units need to bring courage themselves to receive this buff, it's still really good. Okay, now let's continue on. She has Jammer Impact. This is a physical strike version of Jamming Thrust that gets upgraded to Stag Impact. Stag Impact can target up to three units. So imagine a Jamming Thrust where you can hit three, you can go one, two, three. You get to just triple cast the thing. It also increases Strike Resist Pin, does 200% damage, cancels Ability Activation, that, uh, you know, per Jamming Thrust, right? That's why I made the comparison. Comparison. It also decreases her CT by 20. This is an OP move. It's going to be really good. We already talked about the Paralyze Strike. That's her AoE Paralyze move. And then Dragon Break. She has a Physical Barrier Break move as well. That's a three hitter, which will make her good for like Lightning Chaining Teams, stuff like that. She's bringing a Strike Resistance debuff that is also a Chainer. Could be good for some potential uh, Chaining Teams. Ultimate Blow is a... You might just disregard this out of, out of context, but it's a 240% modifier. Um, one range. The deal here is your uh, stag impact is going to do more damage. So it's AOE's, the AI is probably going to choose that. Still, that's a big hitter. And at 26 AP, it's not that expensive. You could run Gunner to give her access to a critical rate, critical damage buff and some missile moves. Or I think in most cases, you'll run Spy to give her access to Disinfo, I'm sorry, to give her access to Shadow Dance, which is that 30% shield three times for self and the agility buff uh, until she takes takes damage and then there's AP auto restore again. You might not run spy along with her trust master. Still really strong uh, sub job options right there. And then her limit break decreases lightning resist by up to 50% for three turns. The thing is um, increases effect by 5% for each enemy less in the AOE. So if there's three enemies at the AOE, it will get a 0% buff. But if there's more enemies in the AOE, it will receive a 15%. I believe that's how that works. Again, we'll have to see exactly how some of this stuff works when it comes out. I'm just giving you a little taste of what's coming down the pipe. And either way, she's looking really strong. She is coming with a new farmable piece of gear, a weapon, 174 attack on this thing. Uh, for monks, excuse me, Pugilist and Alaya, you will get Strike Resistance Pin 20, Strike Resistance Penetration, where's that been in this game before? Decrease AP Consumption, 15 for self, and Strike Attack Buff, so a very good piece of gear. And there you go, guys. So that's what's coming in about four months. If that's something you're interested in, keep your eyes appealed for whenever it appears in Global. What is it right now? The beginning of June, so July, August. So this will be coming in like beginning of October-ish, something like that. So it's a ways off, but a very, very powerful unit coming for your lightning teams. And I'll tell you what, guys, I just fought some Alphonse in Guild Wars today. That man can tank. Alphonse is pretty good from the FMA event. It's the first time I've run into a like fully built one. We have we fought an Alphonse wall today. It doesn't suck. So, all right, there y'all guys. There you go. <laughs> Words are failing me. It's time for me to go to bed. Have a great one, everybody. I'll catch you next time. Peace.